Hello, how are you today? It's windy here, you can see the wind blowing the trees and the wind blowing my hair, but it's a lovely day even though the breeze is a bit cool. And today I'm going to read Can't Catch Me by John Prater. Do you sometimes like to run and run and run? Can't catch me. It's bedtime, Jack, called Dad. I hate baths, said Jack. Go and have your bath right now, said Mum. Can't catch me, replied Jack. And he set off down the garden. He's got a big backyard, hasn't he? They're coming. I'll hide in here, thought Jack. He's, he's in the shed, said Mr Crabtree. Jack slipped nimbly out the window. Oh, mind my vegetables, said Mr. Crabtree, and he joined in the chase. You can't catch me, said Jack, and he was right. Miss Polly was hanging out her clothes. Mind my washing, said Polly. You can't catch me, said Jack. And he was right. I won't mind me bike, said Mr Digwood. Can't catch me, said Jack, and he dashed into the lane. Oh, mind where you're going, boy, warned Colonel Watt as Jack sped past. Can't catch me, said Jack, and he was right. Jack hid in the shadow of a large tree while the angry grown-ups looked everywhere. You can't catch me, he said to himself. And he was right. When the coast was clear, Jack set off again. They'll never catch me, he thought. But, oh, what a mess. Even worse, Jack couldn't move until the grown-ups had all passed. Still, they can't catch me, he whispered to his newfound friend, the pig. And he was right. No one saw him plod home. Or what he did when he got there. What do you think he did when he got there? Hello, said Jack. You can't catch me, but this time he was wrong. Do you sometimes like to play chasey and sometimes like to run away? It can be a lot of fun. 
But when mum or dad or grandma tells you you need to get in the bath, guess what? You need to get in the bath. <laughs> Bye.